So now which of the following component present in the cell is responsible for the expansion of cell, asthmatic expansion? Now let us see this is plant cell, this is representing cell wall, below the cell wall. Now this layer which is present that is plasma membrane and in the cell the structure which I am showing here that is vacuole and you know that in the vacuole the membrane which is present that is known as tonoplast, right? Now the tonoplast it allows the passage of ions against the concentration gradient inside the vacuole. So the ions they move inside the vacuole against the concentration gradient that is from the low concentration to high concentration area due to which inside the vacuole osmotic pressure that increases right due to the accumulation of ions and other materials the osmotic pressure inside the vacuole it increases such type of the cell when it is placed in water yes this cell it absorbs water yes water absorption is there due to the absorption of water protoplasm swell the swollen protoplast it exert pressure on wall yes so you know this very well the pressure which is exerted by the protoplasm on the wall this is known as Turger pressure and due to this pressure there is expansion of cell which occurs. So it is the vacuole which is responsible for the osmotic expansion of cell. So the right answer for this question number 105 that is option number 2. So let's discuss question number 106 here. So now question number 106. During which phase of cell cycle amount of DNA in a cell remains at 4C level if the initial amount is 2C? Now for explaining this question I am showing you a diagrammatic representation of cell cycle here. In cell cycle, there is presence of mainly two phases. One is interphase and another one is M phase. Interphase is divided into G1, S and G2 phase. Yes, this one is representing interphase. I am writing it as I phase. And this phase where the cell division will occur, this is M phase. So, in this question, the initial amount of DNA which is present in the cell that is 2C. So, it means in the G1 phase, the content, the DNA which is present in the cell that is 2C, right? Then after the G1 phase comes S phase, you know that in S phase DNA duplication occurs. So, the contents get double, so concentration is 4C here. After the S phase comes G2 phase, again in the G2 phase the concentration remains 4C. Now once the interphase is over, now the cell is ready for division, so it will enter M phase. In the M phase, one daughter cell, it is one parent cell, it is divided into two daughter cell. If mitosis occur one parent cell is divided into two daughter cell. So the amount of DNA in two daughter cells that is reduced to half. Yes. So instead of the 4C, now the DNA content which is present in each daughter cell that is 2C. So it means the 4C condition is seen in which phase? One is the S phase and another one is G2 phase. 
so after the duplication it is seen only in which phase g2 phase so it is seen only in g2 phase so this is the right answer for the question number 106 so after this now let's discuss 107 here So now question number 107, we have to match the following. Now centriole, you know they can be transformed into basal body. Then chlorophyll, this is a green color pigment which is associated with membrane of thylakoids. Cristae, they are foldings of inner mitochondrial membrane. Yes. They are the foldings of inner mitochondrial membrane which are the site of ETS. Yes, in foldings. Ribozymes, they are RNA based enzyme that is nucleic acid based enzyme. Right. So, what is the right option? For A it is 4, for B it is 2, for C it is 1. D it is 3. So, the right option for the question number 107 is 1. So, now coming to the next question 108. 